Hey everybody and welcome to my walkthrough for Chernobylite. So I've been meaning to try this out for a while now and I, I, I don't quite know like what to expect from it. I've tried not to um, like I try not to look at too much into it because I don't want too much spoils for me. I know it's sort of like a spiritual uh, successor to the old Stalker games like Shadow of Chernobyl and its expansions. I know there's a new one for that coming out, but from what I've been told, this is like a spiritual successor to that. So, I recently-ish played them uh, again, so I'm looking forward to trying this out and seeing what it's like. I also bought a new mic, but uh, my capture card needs, I need like an adapter to use it. It's like a proper, like, you know, you clamp it onto the desk and yeah, so I'm using my headset mic now, so if there's like a change in um, commentary audio quality halfway through the walkthrough, then that's probably why, because the adapters come and so on. That's if it works. If it doesn't, then that's going to be very annoying, and I'm going to have to find a capture card that uh, will allow me to use it, but that's a problem for another day. Uh, <coughs> also... Let me know how you all do it. Throw it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to uh, reply and leave a like for all the comments you guys leave. And uh, yeah, also if you hear any barking or just the general chaos in the background, my family have uh, gone out for the evening and left me with our dog, Sam. And he loves to bark at things and just when he gets bored, just wander around the house and cause chaos. So if you hear that, that's what that is. Right, do I want the audio? Oh, nah, the audio. Do I want the audio language in Russian? No. Text and subtitles in English, yes. And subtitles. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll have subtitles for uh, you guys and myself, because chances are there are things that I'm uh, not going to pick up on. Adjust the brightness until you can barely see the uh, darkest symbol, so... Suppose that, maybe. Because the thing is, the, the brightness settings of my TV and the actual brightness settings I'm getting from the capture software are two different things. So for me, that's that last skull is... Actually, yeah, for the capture software, it's sort of barely visible. So, awesome. Okay, let's uh, get started, shall we? Ah, oh, more menus to go through. Survival difficulty medium. Uh, survival difficulty affects the amount of resources you can find out in uh, find on levels. On high difficulty uh, levels, expanding. The base and crafting new items will be more difficult. I'll go for easy for that, because... Again, I don't know what to expect, so I'll go for easy for that. Combat difficulty will be medium. Management difficulty. What? Managing difficulty uh, affects the chances of success for your companion's missions and how the base affects their morale and health. At high difficulty levels, keeping your companions alive will be more difficult. Um, I'll go for medium for that, sure. Character portraits. Show an important moment. Um, this is how subtitles with portraits are. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I'll go for that. The game is a little bit of a... Right. The Noble Power Plant. A hope for the future. NAR Corporation begins trials of their proprietary recultivation technology. Tronium 90 and plutonium 240. Some never abandoned their homes or even moved back. Will Samashev's be removed forcibly from the exclusion zone? Demonstrations across the Ukraine. Ten billions of hernias for an indefinite lease. This is a cabal. NAR thinks they are above the law. But what does NAR really hide behind the patent rights? One thing is certain. The sarcophagus must remain intact. What? <laughs> what? Okay, this isn't a good uh, good start. Okay, let me get off that. Don't rep 
report. Or about baby report, I don't know. What? No way. Oh, that is... Even my dog's pissed off about it. Alright, well that's not an encouraging start. Alright, round two. Let's do this again. Continue. No, like new game. Uh, go for easy. Uh, sure, that's generally what I did last time, yeah? Okay. The Noble Power Plant. A hope for the future. NAR Corporation begins trials of their proprietary recultivation technology. Tronium 90 and Plutonium 240. Some never abandoned their homes or even moved back. Will Samashev be removed forcibly from the exclusions of demonstrations across the Ukraine? Ten billions of hryvnias for an indefinite lease. This is a cabal. NAR thinks they are above the law. What does NAR really hide behind the patent rights? One thing is certain. The sarcophagus must remain intact. Oh, wait for it. Power off. That was my sound bar. Ignore that. Okay. Igor, wake up, you sleepyhead. Look, look over there. Do you remember the glade just beyond those trees? That's where you proposed to me. You were so nervous and sweet. You're still sweet, my Professor Kimunik. Anyway, it feels good to return after all these years, doesn't it? I guess. Okay, things are getting creepier now. Oh, oh no! How did you get past me? What is it, Igor? You're still half asleep. Wake up! Okay. <laughs> okay. Awake again. Tanya? Tanya? Where are you, Tanya? Tanya! Stop kidding around! The clouds over Chernobyl. Head. I, the moment I saw that like heading, for that newspaper clipping, I was worried that all the dialogue I'd come across would just be in Russian. Right, where are you, Tanya? Okay. Right, let's go into creepy Chernobyl. Or is this even Chernobyl? Igor. This could be anywhere. Wait! I will say this for the, the graphics are holding up so far. Like, I assume like ninety percent of this game, or a good like maybe not ninety, maybe like eighty-five, will be set in a forest. Or some somewhere that's you overgrown with me. like foliage. You so, so it's nervous. Uh, okay. And sweet, my professor Kimi. Tanya Amelieva, stop this childish nonsense at once. Where are you? I'm really not liking that Geiger counter noise. After all these years. Oh my god, what the fuck? That's enough! What the hell was that? Why is he dreaming like this? I hope this is a dream. Because this would be a weird way to start the game. Like, proper. I mean, other than the... I don't think, like, Stalker's, um, had much of an engaging narrative at the start, but... Like, apart from the, the narrative elements of this game, I'm sort of seeing the comparison to Stalker. Okay. 
that, um, that compass at the top's not even moving when I'm turning. What now? Uh, what is that? Oh my god, what the hell? There's no health bar either, so I assume I can't die in this point, but... Um, I won't be surprised if that happens. Oh. Right, cool. I got it again. Right. What am I shooting at? Hold that to aim on. Ah. Die, you weird. I don't even know what to call these things. Oh, hello, what's this? The um, enemy is approaching with a uh, side to dodge. Ah, cool. Ah! Oh! Take that! Doesn't do anything! I will say it's not a great effect when you're dying, you can just disappear like that. Am I dead? I'm dead! I, mean, I, I know this guy's been traumatized, but fuck me, this is a. Really grim, dreamy zone. I suppose there's no bodies hanging from the tree, so that's something. Okay, where do I go? What do I do? Walk into the fire? No. Play with it. Actually, no, this is a. Aha! Why is this place so familiar? It's my old workshop. That's probably why it's familiar, if I had to guess. Okay, what am I getting? What am I getting? Please hurry. This reality is coming apart, can't you see? No, this place probably always looked like this. I wouldn't say it was coming apart. Okay, mechanical parts, 10. Do I go in here as well? Anything here I need to grab? Like, the place looks like crap, but then you got like all this high-tech stuff. Property of Future Deterrence Technologies. Future Deterrence. Eh uh -huh. That'll Get back to your cool. work. It's the only way out of here. I might see if there's a way to increase the uh, subtitle size. Only because I can barely read it. I can barely read what I'm picking up either. I wouldn't say I was sitting that far from the TV. It could just be my eyes are going. There, right, let's craft this. Whatever it is. A, a glue gun of some kind? I don't know. Ooh. It feels good to return. The entire zone is on lockdown. Any hour doesn't screw around. Yeah. Let's just hope our source comes through and we don't run into any patrols on the way. And what if we do? We will improvise. That's what our sleeping beauty here paid us for, remember? Sure, sure. Do you really think they'll test this recluse re recultivation something? I haven't seen any signs of that, but I'm telling you, something is up. There are way too many contractors for such a small area. 
We can handle the contractors. They're probably some of Wagner's rejects. Fuck you. I fought alongside those guys. I know. I'm just messing around, Anton. Let's focus on getting our professor here some of this... Chernobylite? That's what it's called? Igor? Igor. He's like, wake up, you lazy bastard. Wake up, Igor. We have to go. Ooh. What? I must have dozed off for a moment. Let's go. We're gonna get some Chernobyl. What are you? Having doubts, Professor? If you're thinking about backing out, you need to tell us now. Not a chance. Let's get this over with. Pip pip. Let's go. You sure this plan of yours is gonna work, Professor Kimenyuk? Igor, please. And yes, it will. You two take care of your part, and I'll take care of mine. All right? Try to keep a low profile. Last thing we want is a firefight. A, a fire? What are you getting us into, Igor? It is necessary. It's something that needs to be done. I don't like riddles, Professor. But you're the boss. Reminds me of that night up in Syria. Remember that, Olivier? I do, unfortunately. Ooh. It's building up the summon. Oh, hello. That's not good. Why are we here? Misha, we can't! We have to fall back! The pressure's dropping! Downstairs! Now! Go! 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 This is no time for bird watching, Igor. Let's go. Through the fence, into the sewers. Sewers? Oh. And down into the underworld we go. It's nothing but a hole in the ground, Anton. Oh, does anyone else feel itchy? So, how bad is the radiation around here these days? It's been a long time, right? Do yourself a favor and don't think about that right now. Let's focus on doing the job and getting out of here in one piece. Yeah, Igor, this is probably the closest I'll ever get to get this place, because this place creeps me the pain. hell out in real life. Don't, don't panic, Olivier. No Giro is here. Only some desperate people walking into the heart of darkness. Ah, oh, isn't he a cheery fellow? All right, let's climb over. I sh nope, he wants me to talk. What is no that? talking. Go. Cool. After you, Eagle. Ladies and eggheads first. <laughs> Funny guy, huh? Igor. Shit, Igor, get down! Get to the sewer entrance. We're right behind you. Oh, there's the compass at the. Oh, the right hand one guy. Actually, I'm just gonna take this small break to uh, video options. Lens there, motion blur, right. Game options. Um, text and subtitle language, English, or... Okay, so there's no uh, option for text size. User interface. Uh, doesn't look like there's an option there either. Compass UI, blah, 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 enemy health. Alright, never mind. I tried. Uh, I can't think of anything else to... Yeah. Oh, well. I mean, if I if I miss something vital, I'll uh, leave it to you guys. Stay to let in me the know. Shadows. I really hope this game works like most other games, like Far Cry, for instance. Now that I'm hiding in the uh, bushes. I'm not going to be like totally blind to everything happening around me and someone's going to spot me like an idiot just crouching in some bushes. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anyone around. Let's just see if I can do this quickly. I can't climb, I think. Oh wow, I am tall. Yeah, I can't climb over things. Become invisible. 
I suppose I need a... There we go. Nope, can't even... I can't even... What? Uh, okay, that's odd that I can't go under this thing. So yeah. you were inside the lab? Yeah, for a bit. See anything interesting? Nah. Interesting is above my pay grade. Now pass that bottle, Sergei. Well, now I can climb. I can climb that, but... <laughs> I can vault over things, I can't climb up things. Peculiar. Also, there's no other way... past this. I have to... I, I don't know. Go... I can go in here. What the hell? Okay, so there's one guy here, but I don't know where he is. There he is. There's one guy there. Um. Oh, he's coming this way. Shit. Dad, don't kill me. I'm just a scientist. Uh, he's moving off that way. Let's see if I can. I'm, I'm so gonna die. It's going to be brutal. Horrible. Ooh. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Maybe if I hide under you. Ooh, what's he doing? What's that guy doing? He's coming this way. He's coming this way. I don't know what's going to like terrify me more, like the game or the fact that my dog just randomly starts barking. He's going to start barking at like the wrong moment. I know he is. Sam, calm down. As you can tell, it's a very professional setup I have. Eagle, hey, over here. Oh, there he is. Skulking over you. You could have helped me a little bit. Like, you know, distracted them or something. You sure this is the right entrance? I used to work here, remember? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, don't know what to think about the voice acting just yet. Oh, well, everyone else's voice acting seems to be okay, but the main guy seems to be a bit, uh... Like he's reading off an A4 piece of paper. Igor, take a rad reading, will you? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, three point six. Not great. Not terrible. That does not Chin say up. three point six. We're safe for another hour or so. All right. None of you are safe. Captain Olivier, sir. Ooh, some backtrack in there. Backtrack. Backchat in the ranks. Backtrack. You sure this device of yours works, Eagle? I don't have time for getting into details right now, but yes, all it needs is more Chernobylite. Hmm. Chernobylite, right. The most radioactive compact on Earth. I don't know why That's I'm wandering off. The man knows what he's doing, Anton. Stay focused, complete the mission. We'll all be laughing about this over a beer before you know it. Are we? Come, let's go in. The readings are bad. 
The numbers are too high. We have to get out of here. We can't leave him behind, dear God. Let me out of here! Let me out! Alexander Boresevich, someone has to open the valves manually. Someone has to go inside. Use... I don't know what that is. Ah. My user's gone up to 14. Down to 4. Back up to... Ah, it's 0 now. 1.8. I don't know, like, what this thing is meant to be detecting. He said radiation, but this thing's just jumping all over the place. Anton, left one's yours. I'll take. I'll take the other one, Olivier. Oh, look at Bright Boy over here. Okay, it's your show. But if you get us killed, I'm gonna be pissed. You are going to take down that guard. Or are you saving him for later? Five bars and rising. Think it'll explode. Oh, uh, what guard? You can't see him. Soldier, not a nuclear physicist. I don't see any leaks. Let's get out of here and report in. Not yet. Get a hold of yourself and keep looking for the fucking leak. For a scientist, he seemed to be too good Next at that. You better use the knife if you want to survive. Yeah. Sus. Very sus. It's been a while. What was that, Eagle? All right, Eagle. You're the star. Ready to execute the plan? I'm accessing the terminal. If the AZ-5 button is still working... Apparently, this room in real life is quite toxic to be in, due to the uh, radiation exposure. Apparently. Igor, don't! Tatiana? What are you stalling for, Igor? Time is critical here. Oh, I got a choice. Um, don't press the button, but uh, be honest. Don't press the button and make an excuse. I'll press the button. Uh, Did you hear that? The voices? That's not the kind of question I want to hear right now, Igor. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Don't do it, my love. Shit, 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 I can't! I can't press the button! Suit yourself, Anton. Let's move. The reactor room, now! I mean, that, that's an understandable reply. That's, that's not the question I want to hear right now. Hmm. Look at the design for this corridor. So... Soviet. The hell's that? That doesn't look good. The hell is it? And why? I only have this equipped right now because it's the closest thing I have to a gun. Or oh, something that looks like a gun. Oh. We had a plan, Igor. Why didn't you just press the damn button? You don't have long. Run. What the shit's this? What about the radiation? Anton, please, you're stressing me out. Can you hurry it up down there? Whatever it is you're doing. Chernobylite. Oh, it's even colder than I remember. You've seen one of these before, haven't you? A much smaller fragment, but enough for my initial studies. Are you going to tell me how this fancy gun of yours works? It creates a kind of shortcut through time and space. It's called a wormhole. It forms a tunnel with two mouths. It needs an exotic energy source to keep it open. Exotic energy. Uh, uh, 
That's the Chernobylite? Exactly. And where does this shortcut lead? It leads wherever it needs to. Let's leave it at that for now, all right? What? My fiance. She disappeared here during the disaster 30 years ago. Yeah, can we talk about her later? Grab the crystals and let's go. It's <laughs> fucking gone. Help me! Ooh. Run. What is that? Who's that? That's a guy, right? You, why are you here? Stalker. Olivier? Where the hell did you go? Olivier! What kind of patchwork hell is this? Is that can I pick that up? Can I do something? Is that important? No? Alright. Like a proper gamer, I just saw something shiny and was like, ooh. What the fuck was that? Listen, I Jesus, I'm so sorry, Olivier. Anton was uh, he was a good man. Who was that fucker? Hell if I know. Somehow he used the negative energy of the Chernobylite to teleport. Now, to confirm this theory. Stop. That doesn't matter right now. Can he get to us here? And where is here exactly? We're inside a wormhole connecting two singularities. It's quite short and not very stable, so we need to move. Do you understand? And no, he can't chase us in here. I, I mean, it's possible in theory, but highly unlikely. I don't want to know. Just get us out of here. This way. You'll come out near Mikhail's place, hopefully. Let's meet there, then. My arm... It feels like the muscle's been twisted from the inside. I'm going to execute that black-masked motherfucker, Anton. I promise you. Okay, he gets a portal right next to him. I'm left to just, what, explore? Where's my portal? Oh! Speak of the devil. This place is definitely not what it used to be. It's like a snake, shedding its skin over and over again. You have to learn it all over again. Feel it. Tame it. Mm, sure. I can do that. Day one. Chernobyl morning. Ah, what a Chernobyl morning you're having. Ah, the singularity. Tearing at the fabric of reality. The foundations of this reality are really quite fragile. You're out of time. Go. What do I do? Who is this? Who is this? Oh. And but. Ah. <gasps> yes, awesome. through these gates more than I can count let's go in together my love this doesn't seem like a like a romantic place I need to find a way to reduce my rad levels first but she talks about it with such enthusiasm and uh, like it's like a nice memory but look at it look for a little bottle the label will say potassium iodide DTPA <laughs> and Prussian blue it helps with radiation poisoning 
No, no, I'll take that. show all resources and items in the area but can also uh, navigate and highlight the selected type. Hold that and press whatever. Aha! But chemicals electronic parts whatever the hell that is. Flammable parts. Something. What's this? Herbs. Mechanical parts. Food ration. Other. Mushrooms. Mm, herbs, maybe. I'm more likely to find herbs here, I think. Yeah. Yeah, finding them herbs. I don't know why I'm finding herbs, but... You're hurt, Igor. Tend to your wounds. I have no medkit. Perhaps I can prepare something over the bonfire. Uh, where is the bonfire? Is there a bonfire here? Barbed wire. Where's this bonfire? Uh, you've collected enough ingredients. Now find a bonfire and use the rest. I'm going to assume that's what the objective marker is pointing me towards. He. <laughs> so, what? What do I? Think? A healing salve. Okay, that's an interesting mechanic, so I have to look after my mental health and my physical health. Uh, that's different. I'll go for it. I'll go for that. Hands where I can see them. What's the password? Uh, have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Would you mind? I can't think with that gun pointed at me. Igor? Oh, damn it. Nostalgia. It's nostalgia. It was your idea, goddammit. Come on in. Igor, you're a bit of a handyman, right? Take a look around and see if any of this crap is useful. This is your element, my sweet. Create order from this chaos. Press that to uh, build your base. While in building mode, you can mark previously built structures and recover uh, resources from them by pressing that practice on the rubbish laying around. Oh, okay, so that's how that works. Okay, that's cool. If only it was this easy to clean up in real life. So what am I going to build? Building tools. I suppose I'll build building tools. And... 
Okay, missing most of that. And what do I do? Every day you will have the opportunity to return to the base and expand it. You are only limited by the amount of resources. Right, so... Okay, I can't imagine anything else that was going to be limited by, really. Limited by resources. Oh, Sam's off. Tell me you're not going straight back to the power plant. Because if you want to commit suicide, there are easier ways. We're outnumbered, outgunned, out... Everything. We need intel, backup, supplies, and most of all, we need a fucking plan. Tell him Tatiana can't wait. Okay, Olivier, let's hear your plan. I'm glad you're seeing reason. See this board behind me? We can use it to map out our plan of action. Figure out how to get inside the power plant and find whatever it is you're looking for. Or whomever. Every piece of intel, every bit of info about resources, will document in right here. We'll take our next step when the time is right. For today, let's focus on getting our strength back. If we're going to use this warehouse for our base, we need to find some supplies and get organized. Somewhere to sleep would be a start. Maybe we can find some cots? Yeah. Okay. Let's do this right. Great. I'll do everything I can to help you figure out what happened to this. Tatiana? That was her name, right? One last thing before you go. NAR uses weapons with a biometric lock. We can't use them, so we have to defend ourselves with what we have. Use it as a last resort. I presume you know how to handle firearms? Sure do. He was dreaming about it in the way here, so... Then you're all set. I have faith in you, Igor. Yeah, I got a gun. And where else am I going to go? So, the heist board. Yeah, heist. Olivier. Anton didn't make it. I can infiltrate the power plant, trying to be a prisoner. Someone needs to watch our backs. A sniper. I need a spy. A good hacker. Could have dealt with the security system and electronic devices. Interesting. Man, Where? what a view. Ooh. This panoramic overlook of the zone will help us plan our tasks for the day ahead. Just let me know when you're ready, boss. We can get started. Oh, right, that's what that is. Uh, you can start each day by planning. Choose which mission you'll do personally and which you will entrust to Olivier. Choose wisely. You can only complete one mission each day. You right. can see everything from here. You cannot succeed alone, but there are others who will help you. I'm not sure what to do first. Should I tell Olivier to run some errands or should I do it myself? Medicine and put the address and try to stay at your pace. So if I go for the medical drop, and I'll send him with... Hmm, maybe the munition drop in Pripyat? Well, in any case, I am going to call it a day for this video, I think. Um, right now, it seems like a good place to uh, have a little break. Are we doing this or what? So there, that's actually quite a lot of fun so far. We really enjoyed it. Um, the controls will you know, take some getting used to, I think. Especially because you can't uh, hip fire. Like for, there's no hip fire in the game, so that's going to throw me a bit. Because I'm sort of used to like Call of Duty um, esque, you know, gameplay. But yeah, as long as I remember that, I should have a bit better luck, a bit, a bit more luck then with all the uh, gunfights in the game. 
And yeah, everything other than that, like the game looks great, I'm playing the PS5 version. So yeah, I actually have a, quite a bit of hope for this game. But then again, I've only played the intro. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, throw it down in the comments and let me know what you think of the game. And if you want me to uh, continue and so on and so forth, I'll be uploading this pretty much straight away, I think. So yeah, do check. I say do check this out because it's the end of the video. You've watched it already. Uh, it's very late uh, recording this, so do forgive me if I say some stupid things. But um, yeah, throw it in the comments, let me know what you think, and let me know uh, if you want me to make some more videos for this game. I'm probably going to be playing it um, a little more, so there might be one or two extra videos tomorrow. But in either case, yeah, throw it all in the sections, and I look forward to hearing from you. Hope you're all having a good day, and I will see you soon. Take care, and have a good night day or morning, depending on when you're watching this. See you around.